maturity time, folks, and as usual, it's the Limited Open that kicks off the finals. Tonight didn't disappoint. It's an event where the up-and-coming trainers get to battle it out on some high-powered high horses. And uh, we've got the winner. The man of the moment was Pedro Ornelas, who rode Little Joe Cat and marked an exciting 225. Congratulations to you. Thank you, thank you. How does it feel to win in this arena? Well, this is the first time, and I just feel like I was very blessed. Got a great team behind me, and didn't have any pressure. I just went and had fun. Now, you finished off the um, run. You took off your hat. You felt like you had a winning run at that point? Yeah, I mean, it, if that horse felt really good, and uh, I just felt like it was there. Okay, so... Tell us about your plan coming into the whole uh, Futurity event, the lead up, what you're doing with this horse. Just keep advancing with him. That's all I, um, <clears throat> I was trying to do, just keep advancing. What was uh, the run like? Describe it. Take us through. Well, uh, we had uh, all the cows picked out and I went in and there was a black white chain cow in there. And so I just, I knew I had to drive way, way out. On, on that horse because he, he's got so much draw and um, they told me to drive out so I just when I saw that opportunity I took it up and put my hand down and hope for the best. <laughs> now you had a 221 to beat which was set fairly early on did you know you had to really leave nothing at home? I came to show him so you know like I said I was in <clears throat> I would just went and I went for it you know. Cattle seemed pretty tough tonight what do you think? They were they were really tough. I didn't know what it was going to be like. So, but I had faith on that horse. Yeah, well, the horse was very exciting to watch. The crowd really got behind you. Um, some great great stops, and the, the cow, the horse also seems very smart on the cow. What do you think? He is very smart. Uh, the last cow kind of got me a little bit worried because I, I didn't push it out far enough because she turned and I was like, take care of it. You know, I put my hand down and kept him up and smart but athletic enough to get back and um just keep it exciting yes yes it was it was a great feeling when i rode him i just it just felt like i was floating that's a great feeling how did you feel watching your husband t do that run i had i had to step back in the back on the third cow because i knew the first cow was good and the second cow was great and i get really anxious and more nervous for him than i do for myself and so i had the little one and I just started pacing in the back and really just praying and holding my breath and prayed our way through it because it's it's he works really hard. Now you guys you work for the Andersons tell us a bit about um, your story up till now. Well uh, I started back on last fraternity and on that horse was a two-year-old and uh, Paco the guy that writes for me he started the he started the horse and then Victor Ramirez had him his two-year-old year, and then I got him uh, as an early three-year-old back in December. And I just felt like that horse had a lot of potential and just slowed him down a bit and kind of went training on him, and he responded very well. Okay. And tell us about his breeding. Well, Steve owns the mama, and I believe uh, Spot told me that he won the limited on that on that horse's mama here before Steve got her. And Steve did really well on that on that uh, mare and I was just glad to ride that horse. <laughs> For sure. Now you've got the the semi final coming up. What's your plan there? Same thing, just go in there and trust my horse and try to show him. Get Steve through the get Steve through the Yeah animation. Steve Steve made the same as on that horse too and he chose him first, so just one run at a time. One run at a time. <laughs> one run at a time. Well, good luck for that event, um, and congratulations. What a great effort. Thank you. Thank you.